see. People want to say, stay pressed about the same stuff. They never do anything about it. Why, why do people want to say, stay? I don't see. I have a right. I have a right to. I have a right to say and do this. Okay, because I'm the one that's paying. This. I'm the one that's paying for this stuff to happen. Cash money, but you know, the thing is, don't stay pressed about. Blessings and curses and issues and and uh, luxury and privilege. Don't stay pressed about yourselves or everybody else. See people in your families, people in your neighborhoods and your cities and your states and your countries. Don't stay pressed. Just stop. Stop being pressed about about what what pe other people are doing money and everything you know you know i don't know if it was my parents or my grandparents or my maker or god or the devil i don't know but one thing i realized is that if you can't take care of yourself if i can't take care of myself or my family members can't take care of themselves or my neighbors can't take care of them take care of themselves the thing is if you can't if you can't manage on your own then you're pretty much done you're pretty much freaking frick frocking frock freaking frick frocking done if you can't manage on your own somebody else really the thing is it ain't it ain't even that if you can't manage on your own, then you're pretty much frick frocking done. If you can't take care of yourself, then you're done. If you can't make your own money, then you're done. We we all we all know Slim Thug does, does people dirty like R. Kelly does kids. We know that Slim Thug does people dirty like R. Kelly does kids. P yes, people do take advantage of each other. People do get people hurt and messed up because because they just they just can't stand a male or a female or a man or woman or a boy or a girl, you know. You know I've done this throughout the Bible. Everything that God's people basically complain complain about, He hit them up with, with what they're complaining about. God was the type to, you know, as soon as they started complaining, after he gave them their way, he smoked their asses. Yeah. God God gave people their way for, I'm talking about human beings. God went out of his way to make sure people were good and fixed and taken care of. And then, and then he, they started complaining. They started bitching about this and that and that and this and God killed their asses. God got sick of her. He's like, look, I'm the one that helped you guys. A guy's like, I was the one that helped y'all. Now I'm, now you guys want to start bitching and complaining? You guys are not content. You're not satisfied. But I'm going to have to smoke your asses. That's what God did. Go look in the Bible. It's in there. But anyway, you get everybody as independent human temples of God's spirit. Y'all... If y'all can't take care of yourselves, you're pretty much done. If you can't take care of yourselves, you're pretty much a done bun. Okay? Y'all better learn how to, once God puts you on, don't take yourself off. Once God puts you on, once, once God puts you on, on game and shit, y'all better you better stick with the program. Y'all better stick with once 
Once, once God gives you a car and money, you better use that damn car. If it's got wheels on it and it goes down the road, you better use the son of a bitch. If God puts a thousand, a hundred thousand, half a million, million in your in your bank account, you better use that shit. These days your temples ain't you see what's happening? Your temples temples these days are being smoked left and right. Look what's happening in New York. Florida, Texas, California, people are getting the shit kicked out of them for some for some some mysterious reason. You know? I, I you know I've been watching Fox News. The Fox News channel. They show me they show new videos every day of people getting brutally shot and beat. Yeah. This ha this is real. I don't think certain people know the worst of the worst yet. Yet, I think I think some people don't know the worst of the worst yet. I think a lot of people have a vain, a vain, a vain imagination of how life is. You know, some people sell more fantasies than the fantasy itself. If if God gives you your your human temple life back and some money in a car. You better use the motherfucker.